Hello, welcome to another EM Creations tutorial. Uh, first of all, happy Canada Day, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to convert the login system, which I made a few tutorials ago, uh, to use MySQL Improved, the MySQL Improved library. Uh, previously it was done on the normal old MySQL library, which is now deprecated, and it's time to show you how to convert it. So, one thing you might want to do is check out my previous tutorial on the login system, uh, and then you can see what how I've sort of, uh, because I'm just going to use that existing code to show you how to convert it. So what we're going to do is start NetBeans, and we're going to start a XAMPP, start Apache, start MySQL, when it loads. In the meantime, we can go to home server, which, oh no, wrong thing, local test server. Just go to localhost, oh, hasn't started. Okay. I got to do what sometimes happens. Sometimes, if you've got Windows, uh, I think it's a mi some sort of Microsoft program, but there's something called Pando Media Booster (PMB). You might need to end that process because what it does is it interferes and it won't let Apache start. So now, if I try and start it, it works. Might take a second to load. Disable that stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go to my first project and okay, it's login sys. I've put it under a folder login sys. This is the login uh, system we created before. I'm now going to open recent project, open my first project, which is where I made it. And when it slowly loads, it was under a folder called login sys here as well. So, files, login sys, and here is the login system, everything under this folder here. So, first thing I'm going to do is we got we have to change the way it works. So, it's, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the config file. This is where I got all the database connection stuff. Okay, so what we do in MySQLi is, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of everything up to here. I'm going to now using object oriented MySQL I improved I'm going to connect to the database so we're going to go new MySQL I and it is host so db host then db user then db pass I think yeah and then db database so we don't need to change any of these variables they're all okay don't need to change anything there what this does, it opens up a new MySQL, MySQL I connection. It also connects to the database. Or does it? Hang on, just double check that. dbcon. No, no, yeah, it does. That connects to the database. So what we want to do now is I want to go if if dbcon um, connect error. That I mean, if there was a connection error, then I'm going to get it to display the error. So I'm going to go die database connection error. Um, what we're going to do uh, dbcon error. Uh, no, that's the error number. I'm going to put that in brackets. Error uh, no, and then output the db error here. dbcon error. Okay, if I now go to my first project, uh, look at that, that's another warning. If I just change, that's because we haven't changed it elsewhere yet. If I change something here, just so I can make sure I get the error messages. So if I change the host incorrectly, I should now get an error message. Database connection error, okay, something went wrong there. I get the password. I think that's actually a different type of warning. Anyway, that if it do, if it can't connect, it will kill the script. Simple as that. If it can, it will continue. Next, we're going to change. I'm going to have a look in the footer. Nothing there needs my scroll. Have a look in the header. Uh, yes, there is stuff here that needs my scroll. But yeah, okay. I'm going to sort this out first. So what we want to change here, wherever we got my scroll query, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. So I have uh, dbcon. dbcon is how we're going to start it. 
So, so all I've done here is I've just got rid of everything here. I'm just going to delete that, but I'm going to keep the query. dbcom, and then if I want to do a query in MySQL, I first use the variable that we instantiated here, which is dbcon. That's our handle for the MySQLi. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go uh, hyphen and then right arrow query. That is just like typing. That is the equivalent. So that equals that basically. That is the old way of doing it. This is a new way of doing it. MySQLi. Objects oriented MySQLi. That is. So okay. So if it expires, it will update. That that's now done. That's now converted to MySQLi. Now is is logged in. Um, with functions, because we're using a global variable dbcom, you might want to make sure it is globally available in the function. And to do this, all you need is one line of code, which is global, and then the variable dbcom. And that will make sure that that variable is now available here. So we're now going to escape this string here. So let's first do this one, which is all we've got to do now is dbcon my uh, real underscore escape string. That's how you escape strings. Uh, we've got another one here, so all we need to do is this. There we go, and we've got another query here. So we're going to go dbcon query. That that's done. Simple as that. I'll show you these ones in a second. I just want to make sure that these. I'm just going to change this one quick. Query. Okay. Uh, return. That's not going to work. Okay, I'll show you this first. Okay, so in is logged in. We need to global it here as well, actually. dbcon, because it's in a function. Um, so what we're going to do is here, where where we have MySQL num rows, you do this a bit differently in dbcon. We use the query variable, and what we do is we go query uh, num rows. Now it's not a function. If if you put that on the end, that means it will call a a method, uh, which is a function in a class. But if you do that, that's not going to work because it doesn't exist. So it's referencing a property of the class. So you don't put brackets around it. It's just uh, a variable basically. Um, then we want to fetch the data, and to do this, we simply go query. That's bad. We go query fetch a sock. Now that that's now converted. This function is now converted to MySQLi. Um, and the same here. Return query fetch a sock. Okay, that's pretty much that. That's that file converted to MySQLi. Uh, what else do we have to do? Home. Nope, don't change anything there. Index. Don't need to change anything there. Login.php probably maybe need to change. Yes, we do. So DB can't. This is just a query. So query. That that's that done. We've got escape strings here. So we're going to go DB con real escape string. DB con real escape string again. Okay, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to change this one again. So that's going to be query num rows. Uh, that's an extra bracket. Query num rows, do do do. Anything else? No, nope. so just these ones underneath. Query. Real escape stream. It's pretty easy once you know what you need to change. It's not that hard to convert. Uh, no, sorry, I've done that wrong above. I'll change it in a second. That should be dbcon, not query. Uh, yep. Anything else? Yep, this one. Query fetch a sock. dbcon query. Um, this one, dbcon query, 
Um, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. That's login done. Ajax, let's just check this. This probably needs, yeah, that's what you're doing. This is from an Ajax tutorial. Oh, that's wrong. This was uh, from a tutorial where I uh, up upgraded the system so it would allow for Ajax logins so you can log in without even having to refresh the page. Might as well show you how to update this to MySQLi as well. Um, There we go, and query numbers here. Just keep writing query when I shouldn't. Uh, On time today. Victory sock. Okay, I think that's that. Is that it? I think so. So now, if I refresh my page here, no errors, that's a good sign. If I try to log in, oh, oh yeah, it's my email address. Yeah. Yeah, creations. Test, I think. There we go. Okay, so it's logged me in, and it's. I'm pretty sure it's now working exactly how it did before. I will double check. I'll log out. Yep, I'm able to log out. That's good. I now try Ajax mode. Uh, what was that? Test. Login. Congratulations, you've logged in. Must have worked. So it must be working. Yep, seems to work fine. I'm logged in and it's using MySQLi now. So I've upgraded it to MySQLi. It's rather simple to do. All I the main the main thing is getting this bit here right is um that this is the main difference. Well, I'd say is you you create a new object. That's what we're doing here. We're going new MySQLi. We don't select the database anymore. Uh, you can do it inside the initial connect statement, which is this one here. If there's a connection error, we'll output the error and kill the script. That's what die does, kills the script. Uh, and then everywhere else, pretty simple changes, really. I mean, it's sort of like DB connect. I mean, it's, it's really quite simple once you get your head around it. I'll just type up here in comments on the config. I'll type some comments. So basically, you got where you had MySQL query. That will now become uh, dbcon query. Where you had MySQL fetch a sock. That will now be the query object that you created. Fetch a sock. Where you had MySQL real escape string. That will now be uh, dbcon real escape string. And where you had MySQL num rows. Where you had MySQL num rows. That will now be dbcon. Uh, no, it won't be. It will be query num rows. That is pretty much it. Uh, That is pretty much the changes. It's not too difficult. And yeah, I hope to have more tutorials soon. If you've got any questions, I should get back to you. If you PM me on YouTube or post a comment, I check it pretty regularly. So 